World maps. The Mario universe is full of them, but they never seem to be connected. For example, the world map of New Super Mario Bros U has nothing to do with the one from Super Mario 3D Land, but I'm sure there's a way to map out the entire Super Mario world if we just think about it real hard. And to be honest, Mario Kart might actually be the solution to this problem. Today, we'll be making a map out of the Mario Kart 8 tracks, trying to glue them together and create a map that actually makes sense. I'm sure this will work out fine. Alright, let's start off by adding some water in the background in a big island. Because according to the Mario Odyssey map, the Mushroom Kingdom is one big island. Okay, I'm not gonna shape it like a mushroom because, well, I suck at using Photoshop and I have no art skills at all. I just wanna make it simple for myself, okay? This is science, not art. I think the first stop of this quest has to be the Sunshine Airport, as it will allow us to think more about where other tracks need to go. Because first off, it looks like this airport is on an island, as it is surrounded by water and other paths of land. Considering it is an airport, it's probably located somewhere close to the sea, so you know, it's probably in a corner somewhere. And as you probably already know about, we can see Koopa Troopa Beach while we play this race in the background over there. So you know, let's bring the beach with us. Yep, yep, perfect. Now, if you look at the arrivals and departure schedule inside of the airport, you'll see names of other tracks in the game. Those tracks are Dolphin Shoals, Sweet Sweet Canyon, Cheap Cheap Beach, Bone Dry Dunes, Yoshi Valley, Sherbet Land, Thwomp Runes, Dry Dry Desert, Shy Guy Falls, and DK Jungle. And if you look at the times of departures and arrivals, we can notice that it takes about 6 hours to get to Bone Dry Dunes and about 7 to get to Sherbet Land, making those two the farthest destination, seeing as, you know, most of the other tracks only take 3 hours to get to. So this probably means that Sherbet Land and Bone Dry Dunes are actually far from the airport, bringing them in a corner of the map somewhere. I'm just gonna place them in different corners for now, we'll just adjust it in the future if we need to. Seeing as the airport is surrounded by Koopa Troopa Beach, and also considering the fact that Cheap Cheap Beach is literally 30 minutes away from the airport, well, we can assume that Cheap Cheap Beach is located really close to it, next to the sea. So yeah, there you go. Dolphin Shoals is also fairly close, being about 55 minutes away from the airport, so I suppose it is also close to Cheap Cheap Beach, just a bit further east. Surprisingly, Dry Dry Desert and Thwomp Runes are actually fairly close to the airport too, being 50 minutes and 35 minutes away, so this probably means that Dry Dry Desert is actually closer to Bone Dry Runes than it is Sherbet Land, so let me quickly swap those two. There you go. Thwomp Runes is probably not too far away, but since it's not desert themed, I'm going to place it here for now. With the few remaining tracks on the airport schedule, we can tell that DK Jungle and Shy Guy Falls are also not too far away, placing them fairly close to the runes. This leaves Sweet Sweet Canyon and Yoshi Valley to place on the map. Yoshi Valley features grass, but it is located in the middle of nowhere, so you know what? I actually feel safe to place it close to Bone Dry Runes, as it kinda blends desert and grassland together. Sweet Sweet Canyon is actually harder to place, as it's made out of candies, and as far as I am aware, there is no candy island on planet Earth. But, candies, well, they tend to melt if you keep them too close to something warm, so placing the canyon close to Sherbet Land ensures that the temperatures are actually colder, so that's why I'm placing it there for now. Science! I told you guys, it's crazy! But now, we have placed all of the tracks that we can reach via the airport. Does that mean we have to guess where all of the rest is placed? Well, not really. You see, we can actually place a few real quick, like Rainbow Road, which is obviously located in space, as we can see Mario's planet in the background. Good. As for SNES Rainbow Road and N64 Rainbow Road, well, these two are not located in space, as we can see ground underneath both of those. SNES Rainbow Road just features grass, which could place it pretty much anywhere on the map. But N64 Rainbow Road though, 
it shows us a big city underneath. And this city? Well, it is the big city where the Toad Harbor's race takes place in, as we can see Peach's statue in both those tracks. I'll refer to this city as Mushroom City, the central hub of the Mushroom Kingdom. Toad Harbor is actually a subset of Mushroom City, a track taking place in the corner of the city. Yup, it's that tiny. As we can also see, there are little mushroom houses located in the suburbs of Mushroom City. And where did we also see those tiny houses? SNES Rainbow Road. Heck yes, yeah. so it means it is located there. A and now, um, well, uh, we're, we're clueless, okay? We have no way of telling where to place more tracks. We're just gonna start placing them at random. Uh, no, you're wrong! Think again! What do big cities need in order to get people from point A to point B? A good public transit infrastructure! Or in simple words, a subway! Plus, according to this map of the subway, it is actually located in Mushroom City! And look at this, Toad Harbor is next to the bridge and the statue. This means I placed it well! <laughs> nice! Here is the Super Bell subway rail map. And this should help us place the rest of the tracks, because as you can see, this subway can take us pretty much everywhere. Now, to be honest, after looking at this plan, it just confuses me even further. Dry dry desert close to Sunshine Airport? Rainbow Road? But this track is in space. Ugh. Here is what I think this subway is. I think it's more than a subway. I think it's a high-speed train that can travel through the entire Mushroom Kingdom and lead you pretty much everywhere. As for the rainbow bit part, uh, how can you travel in space? Um, I don't know, space elevator? I'm just gonna ask Elon Musk later. But for now, let's just pretend it's a big space elevator. Anyways, now that we have this subway map, Let's try moving a few things around, shall we? So it seems that Mushroom City is way more central than I expected it to be. In fact, I think I misplaced Sunshine Airport completely, and this is what confuses me even more. So you know, let's just adjust everything according to Mushroom City being in the center of the world. All right, let's move this here, move this here, okay, uh-huh, uh -huh. All right, I moved a bunch of landmarks around, starting with Sunshine Airport that I now place closer to Mushroom City. I also adjusted Yoshi Valley, Sherbet Land, DK Jungle, Shy Guy Falls, Dolphin Shones, and Cheap Cheap Beach to reflect the subway map. Oh, and apparently, Sweet Sweet Canyon is not close to cold temperature. So, I guess those ice cream mountains, they just don't melt? Eh, <sighs> I don't know. So now that we have a map that's looking closer to the subway rail map, while still taking into consideration what we learn about the airport travel schedule, well, we can place a few more tracks. I started off by placing DK Jungle, Grumble Volcano, and Bowser Castle in their corner down there, as these three tracks are located fairly close to one another, and with lava flowing from the volcano to the castle, well, it kinda makes sense. I placed Moo Moo Meadows, and if you're looking in the background, you can see mountains, probably those from Sherbet Land, meaning that the Twisted Mansion is probably located in the middle of nowhere in Moo Moo Meadows itself. I also had to flip around Mushroom City and SNES Rainbow Road for the water to actually make sense with the airport location and everything that's filled with water around the area. And after fiddling around with tracks, sizes, locations, and placing everything according to the subway map, as well as keeping the tracks we got from the Sunshine Airport departure and arrival chart, well, this is what my map looks like. As you can see, the map has changed quite a lot with all of the adjustments, and there's still actually a few tracks to place. We're actually missing Mount Wario, Cloudtop Cruise, GBA Mario Circuit, SNES Donut Plains 3, DS Wario Stadium, Wild Woods, Hyrule Circuit, Animal Crossing, as well as Big Blue and Mute City. I guess Mount Wario can be placed close to Sherbet Land because of the snow, and Cloudtop Cruise could take place anywhere in the sky, so who knows. SNES Donut Plains would make sense next to Moo Moo Meadows, and I guess Wild Woods would look okay close to Yoshi's Valley, and then Wario Stadium could be placed close to the Mario Kart Stadium. But at this point, you can tell I'm only guessing. 
I also assume that the Animal Crossing, F-Zero and Zelda theme tracks are not part of the Mushroom Kingdom, so they have to be accessed by other means, like a nether portal or something, I don't know, I don't care. And as for the DLC tracks, well, they don't exist, okay? Shut up! <laughs> Alright, let's clean up some stuff, remove some grass, place some water, sharpen the corners, blend this all together, put some coat of paints, and bada beam bada boom! Here is the final map. And as you can see, it's confusing as heck and features way too many locations for one single island. Plus, it seems that everything is intertwined. Desert, grass, ice, water, lava... I tried making it look as pretty as I could, but with so many different terrains and textures, it wasn't actually easy. So, what did we learn about the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe map today? It makes no f***ing sense.